We are Georgia and David. We quit our jobs to travel full-time around Mexico with our 14-year-old Sheltie Poo Meep. Our goal is to take a picture with her in front of 100 Pueblo signs. Today we are in the Pueblo Mágico of Pinos. Uh, it was about an hour and 20, 20 minute drive away from... Um, San Luis Potosi? Yeah, the capital where we're staying. Uh, but this Pueblo Mágico is actually in the state of Zacatecas. So we're gonna get out and explore. I don't know if you can hear Meep squeaking, but she is with us and she's excited. As always, we had to check out the local churches. Afterwards, we strolled around the main square, found the Pueblo sign, and took our family photo. First we checked out a few of the churches and then of course we took our picture in front of the letters with meat. Mm -hmm. And then we found a little barbacoa place to eat at. Yeah. Didn't take any pictures. No, oh. it was um, very simple. It was just kind of like a tent with a taco stand out front. Um, but the barbacoa tacos were actually really good. Mm -hmm. Meat definitely enjoyed them. <laughs> um, here there weren't a lot of official looking restaurants and the mm -hmm. ones that they did have did not have any outdoor seating. So uh, tacos were our best bet and no regrets, they were really good. Yep. Um, now we are at the aqueduct and we're checking it out. They have a little walking path with some shrubbery and benches and stuff. So we're gonna continue to check it out. We also looked for a next hacienda that was close by, but Google Maps didn't seem to know where it was. Maybe this was it. Meep, where are you going? You gonna go for a car ride? You know? Where you gonna go? Where are we going? <laughs> are you excited? Yeah. You wanna go out to eat? Are you losing your mind? You wanna go on a car ride? Go explore a new town? Today we drove about 40 minutes or so to uh, Cerro de San Pedro, which is a uh, ghost town. Uh, it used to be a mining uh, area. Yep. Uh, we have Meep with us, and um, from what I saw on another video on YouTube, um, the restaurants are only open on the weekends, so today is a Saturday. Cerro de San Pedro is a picturesque mix of buildings, ruins, and nature. It didn't take us long to find the Pueblo sign and snap another family photo. So Mineral de Pozos was also considered a Pueblo Fantasma, um, but it didn't really have this kind of ruin feel. I think this one is a lot cooler. This Pueblo Fantasma only has about 100 inhabitants nowadays. And uh, you get a lot of people coming in on the weekends, which still not a lot of people uh, compared to other places we've seen. We continued our exploration of this ghost town. There were a couple of small churches, but they weren't open to look inside.
There's also a few stands set up selling silver, ice cream, drinks, and hats. Before finding a place to eat, we followed signs to the town's mirror door, and the views from it were pretty good. You wanna go on a car ride? What's this? What's this mean? Where are we going? Where are we gonna go? Right, so we just drove about 40 minutes from SLP to Santa Maria del Rio, which is a Pueblo Mexico. It is Pueblo Mexico because it is the birthplace of the Rebozo which is basically like a silk uh, scarf or a silk shawl. Um, since that's the main thing uh, that makes this Pueblo Magico, we decided to come on a Sunday because things packed. tend to be a lot more lively and it is definitely packed. Then we have Neep with us. As always. We didn't check out any of the Rebozo shops as we had Neep with us. So we just walked around the main area of town. So if you look behind us here, you can see that they have a ton of papel just hanging uh, in this road, which they've blocked off. And it is really beautiful. The main church looked pretty from the outside, but being that it was Sunday, there were services going on. So we didn't record inside. We found the Pueblo sign and took a family photo, which took some doing as there were so many people in this little town. So as we said before, this town is pretty small. So we uh, were having trouble finding a dog friendly restaurant, but they have this little tent set out in front of the church. Uh, and they are making gorditas. So we have a giant pile of gorditas. And Meep is happy and excited to try them. Four to six days later. So this afternoon we are in Armadillo de los Infantes, which is a small town about an hour away from San Luis Potosi Centro. Um, the main uh, claim to fame as it were, is that they had the first printing press in the Americas. So right behind us is the church. We're gonna check it out and uh, go grab something to eat. After visiting a couple of churches, we were hungry, so we found a meat-friendly restaurant. We 
just gonna eat lunch at La Aruga y La Sabana. Oh, which is literally the caterpillar and the barley. Um, lunch was really good and Meep was allowed to sit out on the patio. Uh, it was a really nice little afternoon. We've actually already been to this restaurant before, but it was a different location. There's one in downtown uh, San Luis Potosi and it has a really beautiful rooftop across from one of the churches and we enjoyed it uh, both there and here. Mm -hmm. So right now we are about 10 minutes outside of Armadillo de los Infantes at Eco Park Crater de Encantado. Um, this is a big volcanic crater and they have zip lining, they have hiking, they have horseback riding, archery, a whole bunch of things. Uh, it did say online that the park was dog friendly so I don't know how many of the activities we'll be able to do with meat but uh, here we are. Probably hiking. <laughs> It was a short hike to the mirror door. We are now at the top of the mirror door. You can see the volcanic crater. It's really beautiful up here. Meet, what do you think? Worth the hike. So we have made it up to uh, one of the higher points on the hike, and you can see the huge crater behind us. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of cactus, and there's mountains all around. It's a very beautiful hike, and today is a pretty day for it. Meet you having fun? It's been a great time. It must be prickly pear season because these Nopal cacti have tons of them growing. In Spanish they're called tunas and you will see stands all over selling them. You need some horseback riding. They have a little restaurant, they have a bar, they have a little kids tirolesa in addition to the large one. And they have a little obstacle course for kids as well. Today we're back in, at Crater Encantado. Uh, we're with, without meat today uh, because there's so many other things you can do without a dog. So we're gonna go check it out. This probably looks familiar. We are walking back up the hiking trail again. As far as hiking trails go, this is fairly easy. Not too bad. Nowhere near uh, difficulty of uh, La Quemada. Very beautiful here. I forgot to mention that it's a 2.5 kilometer walk or hike uh, to the Terralesa zip lines. And uh, somewhere along the way, there's supposed to be some archery that we're supposed to be able to do. So this park is only open on the weekends and on holidays. And uh, we bought a paquete or a packet that gives us the opportunity to do the Terra Lesa. Uh, we can do horseback riding, and also we can uh, shoot some bows and arrows. Now it's 530 pesos each. So about 25, 26, 20, about $27-ish per person. Not too bad for all you get. Oh, I see, this guy does have two arms. Like it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hugging tree. That's okay. Bien. Very good. <laughs> Pull it so that you won't pull anymore. Yep. 
and your elbow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's a better lender. <laughs> <laughs> So George and I have been shooting at this for a little while, and uh, we got a decent little cluster here. So we just got done shooting our bows and arrows. I won, obviously. I, um, I think that is highly, <laughs> highly debatable. It's not debatable. <laughs> it is. <laughs> no, I won. Yeah. So now we're climbing back up the crater, trying to find the Terralesa. Cueva del Oso. Means the bear cave. Doesn't really go that deep. <laughs> no, that's it. Shit, bats. <laughs> bats. <laughs> bats. Bats live in caves, so that makes sense. Yeah. This is like National Geographic. That stretchy little bat. We reached another mirror door. Hello. A little bit of shade up here, thank goodness. And there's the crater. Onward and upward. You ready? Stuck. So, uh, after we did the Tiralesa, we uh, grabbed a couple of cervezas, uh, and last, before we leave, we're supposed to get to go on a little horse ride. The Tiralesa was fun. It was um, definitely a lot longer than the last one that we did in Zacatecas, um, and just going over a volcanic crater was pretty cool. It was hilarious that David had stuck about it. <laughs> I didn't think it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we finished up the day at the crater riding horses. Neither of us had ridden a horse in many years, so the couple who trained them walked with us. We got to practice a little Spanish and made new friends. To end the trip, we drove back through Armadillo de los Infante and found this cool armadillo statue. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe, and of course leave any comments or questions down below.